All right, guys, welcome back to the Rodney1279 channel, which we're playing Car Shark. And so far, Brandon's in the lead in round two. He turned over four cards, and he has one card to go before he wins the match. And Mark has a five showing, but he has to turn all over all four cards to win the, um, to tie up the match. So, the next question goes to uh, Mark. And here it is, Mark. Mark, we asked wonder married women, have you ever said to your husband, you never listen to me, only to realize he wasn't even listening? How many women said they have? I'll try 40. Going with 40. What do you think, um, Brandon, higher or low than 40? Um, higher. Going higher, okay. Interesting, let's see if that is good. The actual number of women who said that you never listened to me to their husband is. It is 86. It is a lot higher. Good job, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, you got the five. You have the power to change it if you want to. What do you want to do? Let's do it. Let's change it. All right. Big change here. The five becomes a jack. Make the right call, Brandon, and then you'll win your second game. Lower. For the match. Lower than a jack. Oh, no. A double. Oh. It's a jack. So let me show the card. That's a jack. So free chance for Mark. Okay. Higher. Higher than a five. No, it's a two. Oh, man. These cards are being mean now. Yes, they are. <laughs> And we have the fourth and final question. Somebody must win on this play of the cards, so control is critical. And control, the question goes to Brandon. All right. Brandon, we asked 100 congressmen in Washington, D.C., do you drive a foreign car? How many congressmen do drive a foreign car? Hmm, well, they must be rich, so I'm going to say... I'm going to go in the middle and say 50. Going with 50. Mark Kyle lower than 50. Let's try lower. All right. This is going to be very important right here. The actual number of congressmen that said they do drive a foreign car is. It is 47. It is lower, but just a little lower. Good job, Mark. Now you have an important decision, Mark. Mark, you have the five and you have the power to change it, but you have a long way to go. You have to turn over four cards in order to tie the match. Or you can force Brandon to play his jack, and he has one card to go, and he cannot change that jack. What's your decision, Mark? This is a tough one. Well, those fives have been uh, mean to me, so let's go ahead and change it. You're going to play it yourself. All right. If you make a mistake here... Brandon uh, is the, uh, well, he'll be a champion for the second time. All right. The five becomes, oh boy, an eight. Seven plus one, Mark. Oh, no. Good luck. Oh, boy. Uh, lower. Lower than the eight. It's a six. Okay, higher. Higher than the six. It's a queen. There we go. Lower. Lower than the queen. It's a two. Higher. To tie up the match, higher than a two. Yes, it's a six and you tied up the match. Wow, Mark. Great comeback. What a comeback in that round. Wow, I didn't think you was going to do it. Good job, Mark. So we are going to have a three question, three card showdown to see who's going to go to the money cards for $32,000. Brandon, did you think he was going to do it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, man, I thought, I thought it was over after I changed my five and the eight came up. Yeah, me too. It, it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Yep. And in this case, the fat lady be me. Wait a minute, I'm your lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All righty. So this is definitely, this is definitely, and I think we're going to be able to get through this round before we go to the commercial break. 
Man, again, so much drama with this. Kind of like my match with Alex Hool. Yeah. <gasps> y'all making this exciting, and I thank y'all for it. All right, um, yeah. so the next person, it goes to Mark. That's the next question. And Mark, we asked 100 bachelors, have you ever had to fight off a woman's advances? How many bachelors claim they have? Um, 69. Going with 69. 69. That's a good number, Mark. All right, Brandon, is it high or lower than 69? I'm going to say lower. Going lower. All right, let's check it out. The actual number of bachelors that claim they have fought off a woman's advances is. It's 56. It is lower. Good job, Brandon. All right, Brandon, here's your card. Brandon, your card is a five. Uh, wait, could I change it? Yes, you can. Yeah. You have one to question. Yes, let's change it. All right. The five becomes a king. Lower. Lower than the king. It's a jack. Lower. To win the game, lower than a jack. You did it, Brandon. It's a five and you have won the game. Yes. Brandon, congratulations. You have won a thousand a thousand dollars in that game. Yeah. You put it the nail right on the head, Mark. That brings you to... Brandon, I must say the teacher, i.e. me, taught the student, i.e. you, really good. Congratulations. Yes, he Thank did. Thank you so much, Mr. Leota. And he has $15,000 uh, because of that. And you're going to play the money cards in a minute. Well, uh, Mark, he played a good game, didn't he? Yes, he certainly did. And you, and you played a good game too, Mark, because you came back in that last round. Yes, Mark, you did a very, very good job, and I thank you for the good challenge. Yeah. Right, you're welcome, Brandon. Take with you $500, Mark, and, um, and our congratulations, and you can use that $500 for any run you want to play it to. And we're going to take a commercial break, guys, and when we come back, We'll do the money cards with Brandon for $32,000. Stay tuned. 